Hi there, my name's Ken Truman. Welcome to another DCAC Derbyshire County Angling Club video. Today we're going to be tying the, uh, the dial back or Little Devil. Uh, originally a Welsh fly, it's got more variations than any other fly I think I know. Uh, I'll show you the original pattern or what I believe to be the original pattern after delving into the, a bit of history. Uh, can't get to find out who tied the original and I'll also be showing you a couple of variations um, one of which will be tying so let's get started Hi there, welcome to another DCAC uh, fly tying video today we're going to be tying the uh, dowel back as I explained in the introduction um, popular fly we're going to be tying it on a, a size 12 Elite Barbless competition. I won't go any uh, any bigger than a 12. Uh, 14 on the reservoirs and it makes a good river fly as well. Down to a 16 and possibly an 18. This is uh, the nearest to the original that I could find. Uh, so I just knock one of these up just to show you. Um, we're going to be tying variations of which there are many uh, variations but this is as near a pattern to the original uh, as I could find on the internet. So uh, this, is, uh, this is one of my variations. Got it right, yeah. That's the one with a red rib. And this is the fly that we're going to be tying, which has got a green rib. You can use whatever colour thread you like, which will change the colour of the head. Uh, black's good, it's a bit sombre, but it's good. But I, I like the hot orange, it's a nice hot spot. So, the hackle we're going to be using for the tail and the uh, throw tackle is uh, grizzle. Couple of strands of peacock hill, the hook, and the rib is uh, medium green. I suppose it's uh, looks like holographic. Well, it is holographic. So let's get started. I'll put the hook in the vise. Simple fly, nothing, uh, nothing difficult about it. Start off just behind the uh, the eye. Just leave a little space. I like to leave a little space. Saves bulk. Gives you the opportunity to uh, build the head up later. If you have to do to cover the beard ackle. Just, I'm going to go just beyond the point of the hook. Snip off the waist. Yeah. Um, I can tie the hackling. I tie my hackling probably different to everybody else. I don't know. The, uh, the tail. I use the full feather mainly because uh, not that you can see that anyway 20 stitches in the wrist has frozen my fingers up so I find this this method easier so just tie it in pull it through till you've got the length that you want. I like short tails. You can make them longer. Snip off the waist. Just short of the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the V back in that because I'm going to use that for the beard hackle as well. The hackle I'm using is uh, is actually off a of whiting cape. The big feathers off a a cock capes are uh, the, the ones that you're not going to use for anything else are ideal for this. 
So I'm just going to lift the ribbon, pull that back to the same length, a couple of turns, a couple of strands of peacock curl, same length. Then bring the thread up back up to the eye. Just a bit long that. I like the rib to go in the opposite direction and I like to wind my ribs clockwise so I'm going to wind the hurl anti-clockwise. You can put a bit of varnish on if you want on the body. Couple of turns, pull it back. Now we're right up to eye now so I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to begin winding where I want the head to finish. That secures the peacock curl better than just a couple of turns. The uh, rib holographic. Try and space it so you've got a bit of uh, peacock curl in front of it if you can. Right up to eye. Same procedure. What the hell? If that stuff's getting in the way, just wet your finger, pull everything back. So I've now trapped the uh, holographic tinseling, same as I did the peacock. We need to be. We're back as far as the eye, as far as the head's going to be, is where we've come back. So I'm going to invert the. You probably can't see that. Just a minute. Yeah, so I'm going to invert the vice. I'm going to get come back with the beard ackle. Same procedure. Two turns. Position it where you like. Couple of turns, lift it up. Couple of turns, snip off the waist. Nice pair of scissors. You need a nice pair of scissors to get this uh, fine pointed. scissors will assist you a lot better it's worth investing in a, a, a decent pair of scissors okay maybe a touch long that beard ackle but now build up a nice a nice head Oh, three or four whip, turn whip finish. Threads shredded. Can you see it? Whoops. I'll rescue that later. So I'll just snip off the unwanted bits. And uh, a bit of varnish. I use these. They're... Uh, Car repair, you buy them off eBay, you fill them with paint and do a little touch ups on your car with them. So if you search eBay for the, and you buy them empty, I think they're a couple of pounds each. They're absolutely perfect. With a bit of Sally Hansen's in them to varnish the heads on flies. Make sure the head's clean. That's it finished.
simple little fly catches a lot of fish. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.